Today, I'm gonna show you how to build an armory. What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Uh, I love building rooms. You guys seem to like the videos. I really like creating them. So here is my take uh, on an armory. I even have the layout for you guys. You, you, I always forget to put how big it is, so I make sure I have that for you guys this time. I, I have a little target range for you. Um, we have an auto armor equipper. Okay, so if you notice right here, I got no armor on. We come right over here. We step in. Boom. Now I'm fully equipped. And I could just take my sword with me as I go. You would obviously just have to hit it. But then you get yourself uh, a sword. Okay, very, very cool. Oh, I didn't want to show you guys that yet. Let me put that arrow away. So you'll notice I have no arrows on my inventory. So let's say you're like, I want to practice some, uh, I want to practice some shooting today. You come over here, all right, you get your bow, you step on either one of these, doesn't matter which, boom, you got yourself an arrow. You can shoot it, step on it again. Obviously I need to practice, step on it again, and you get the idea. Okay, and then you can just practice, and then take the bow uh, and be on your way. And you can always just fill it up in here. You can put your enchanted ones. Doesn't matter what it is. We got some uh, some guards here. So what I did is, obviously this is all netherite armor. You can put the armor in any, it doesn't matter what armor piece you put in which um, which of these dispensers, just fill it up. Okay, this is, your, this is obviously gonna be your diamond. Then you got your gold. Then you got your iron. Uh, you got your stone. For the stone, I put chain mail. I cannot remember if you can get all the pieces of chain mail. In uh, survivor, in survival, survivor, in survival. Uh, so if not, you can always do dye. That's where we have the little dye stations down here. You can dye different pieces of leather. Uh, you can make this all leather if you want it. And then for the wood, I just have regular leather. Okay? Because there's six kinds of armor, and there are six kinds of swords. But again, we don't have chainmail swords. We have the stone swords. So I put that with the chainmail. But uh, and then over here, fill it up with whatever you like. These are the different things that I would assume would go in an armory because they're all kind of weapons, right? Shield, protect yourself. You got a trident, fire charge. You can obviously use that to set it up. Uh, TNT, that can be used as either a weapon or a way to dig. And uh, what is that? Um, oh, goodness. There we go. Flint and steel to set, off the, uh, to set off the TNT. And then obviously in here, you have your arrows, but you would just put the arrows in before you did that. And then you could just simply break it really quickly uh, to refill it if you needed to. But I think if you fill that up with arrows, you're probably not going to need to. All right, so let's uh, let's get into what you need and how to build it. All right, guys, so here's everything you're going to need. Either pause it, take a screenshot, or look in the description below. The room itself is 17 by 17. It's also going to be 7 high at its highest point. So make sure you have a 17 wide by 17 long by 7 high room. Okay, cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started on this fourth block in. So one, two, three, four. Right here, we're gonna build, oops, with our stone brick. One, two, three, four, five. Do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spruce. We're gonna go one behind and four up. So one, two, three, four. Skip three spaces. Actually, you know what? Break into this. It'll be easy if you dig into the ground. Oops. Like that. One, two, three. On that fourth one, break it. And then go all the way up again. So one, two, three. On that fourth one, break it. Oops. And go all the way up again. And we want three chambers. So one, two, and this will be the third chamber. Okay. Oops. And when we're four up, we can just come in here and go across, just like so. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to come over here, and we're going to put this down. And we're going to run this all the way across. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, once that's said and done, this is the back. So that's the front over there. This is the back. We're going to come behind it and go one, two, three, four. Make sure you're doing diagonal. One, two, three, four. We're just going to run this all the way across. Okay. Then we're going to take our uh, quartz. We're going to run this all the way across here. Just put down a junk block and run it all the way across there as well. 
This is one of the easiest parts to get done. Okay, and then you're just going to come in here with your droppers. You can use dispensers, but I don't know why you'd waste them. It's really no point. Just use droppers right there, just like so. Okay, we might as well finish off the back. We're going to come here with our oak buttons. I just happen to like the oak with this. You can use whatever you want. Put them on the bottom. And then we are going to put our item frames right on top. Whoops. Just like so. Okay. Cool. Don't fill the, don't fill this or anything in yet. All right. Now let's build our little bottom parts here. So what we're going to do is you're going to put quartz there. Quartz there. Sorry. Junk block. Quartz again. Uh, then we're going to do, what did I do across the middle here? Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of this. Let's bring down, let's bring out our dispensers now. Okay, not, this. these cannot be dispensers. Uh, these cannot be the other ones. They cannot be the, uh, the droppers. They have to be dispensers, okay? So this one right here is going to be going forward. Stand up facing this block and put it down. Okay, so forward, down, and then this one faces in, this one faces in. Make sure all the little circles are basically facing in, okay? And then we're going to put a block of quartz on top. Do that for all of these little sections right here, these three sections. Same exact design. Okay, now that that's done, we're just going to come in here, and we're going to connect these two ends, just like so. We're going to do the same thing for the back over here. So we're just going to connect these, just like so. And then we're going to use the spruce in here. Now, you guys can use whatever blocks you'd like. I happen to really think this looks good, but feel free to use whatever blocks you want. Now, for each of these little chambers that we made, we're just going to come in like this with it, right where the spruce is. So do that for all of them. But before we go, we're also going to do this for all of them. Okay, so we're going to put shroom lights right there. Uh, it's just to light it up, and I think it gives a, uh, looks really nice. And then we're going to put crafting tables right there. And lastly, oh, by the way, do not fill any armor in until at the very end, until we're done. I'll tell you when to do it. Otherwise, it's going to be going off when you do the redstone. Okay, and then just put the uh, pressure plates on top. Do that on the other side as well. Okay, when that's all done, uh, find the center, and you can go ahead and put this down the middle. I just like the way it looks. I tried it with uh, the ground being completely solid. I didn't like it as much. All right, so go ahead and take out your podzol. I didn't like it with all the podzol. Just go ahead and take all your podzol and just go to here. Make sure you leave this whole section open because we're going to be doing something with that in a minute. All right. And then just fill both sides except for that line. Okay. So leave this line from, from here going all the way down. Leave it open. Fill all of this in with podzol and uh, I'll come back. Okay. Next up, what you want to do is take your droppers. So find this middle piece. Go one, two. Put the, put the dropper facing up. Same thing over here. Go one, two. Dropper facing up. Make sure you fill this up with your uh, arrows right now. Otherwise, you're just going to have to break it every time. Uh, not a big deal. You could always add a, a hopper right here, but I just think it looks ugly. So just go ahead and do that. Fill it with arrows, and every time you step on it, boom, you're good to go. Okay? Now what we're going to do is over here. So actually, we can come to the outside here. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's put down these. So take your armor stands. I put them diagonally. You can put them however you want. One face in that way, one face in that way. Decorate it with your favorite armor. I'll do that on one of my breaks. I'm probably just going to do the same thing, netherite and diamond. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can color it, you know, do different colors there. It's up to you. Or you can put something else there. I just happen to like the way that looks. Okay? So what we're going to do is let's get our stone brick, and we're going to come up here like this, and we're going to connect this going across. Same thing on the other side. So this would be what your hallway looks like, right? Because if, if you obviously there's a room, you're probably building it's an underground base. Okay. Then you're going to take your spruce logs. Yeah. Make sure it goes up to the very top right there. Okay. So again, spruce going all the way up. Okay. It's going to look like that. And actually, stairs there. And I, I forgot. These are supposed to be upside down stairs. Perfect. Okay. So that's how it's going to look uh, in the hallway. You can decorate it more if you'd like. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so this would have this is how it would look right now, uh, if you're going down the hallway. Okay, let's come in here, and basically in front of all of these crafting tables, we're gonna put down cauldrons. 
Uh, you can change this design up if you don't like the water. That's up to you. Break all it is grass right here or whatever your floor is. One, two, and then break the one underneath as well. Same thing here. Break the one underneath as well. Okay. And then right there, we're going to put, so you don't actually see it. We're going to put some stone brick. Same thing over here. Right there, we're going to put some stone brick because you're going to see it. So make sure your stairs are facing this way and this way. So both of the stair pieces are facing in and then the floor is going to be stone brick. Now you may want to, I, I have two, two buckets. So just really quickly, just make a, uh, an infinite water source Come in here. You're going to go water there, water on that stairs. And then this becomes infinite anytime you want to use it now. And then we're just going to cover that with the spruce trap door. So, okay, we'll do it here. It's easier to see that middle one on the bottom of the ground. We'll put stone brick, then stairs going this way, stairs going this way, water, water, and trap door. Okay, do that all the way around. Okay, now that that's done, just come in here and fill in your cauldrons. And then you can either leave it empty right now, like meaning just filled with water, not no color. Or you can do the different colors like I did. I think for now we'll just leave it, we'll just leave it like that. Whoops, I just realized I forgot to put these here. Otherwise it looks really stupid open. All right. Now I'm really happy that I was able to get the auto armor equippers because in, in my opinion, you cannot have an armory uh, without an auto armor equipper. But for now, let's just put an item frame right on top of those uh, top dispensers. So we'll turn around. Okay, again, right there, right there, right there. Cool. Now, before we do the top, let's just finish up the, the back and the, and the redstone. It's very simple. Actually, we have to break these for a minute. So we're just going to take the three things we need, which is um, our block of quartz. So we can just break these. I'll just do one with you guys. Okay, break that quartz, break the one underneath. That's the one that the shroom block is on. You're going to put a torch against the shroom block. The quartz back, you're going to go redstone torch there, redstone torch there, whoops. And then I put these here. That's why there's so many in the uh, in the description. I'm just going to put these right on top, wooden planks, just so we don't waste any of the you know good blocks like quartz. Okay. And then we're just going to put redstone. You can put it on either side. doesn't matter which side. And that's it. So it takes three torches and one piece of redstone for each section. All right. And do that on both sides. Okay. Now I pick your favorite position. I like the guy holding the sword like this. So all you got to do, in case you don't know how to do it, is you right, you, you go into crouch, which on the Xbox controller is your, your right click. And then you just press it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven times. I like I'm holding it like that. You find a position that works uh, for you. Okay, now what we're going to do is right above where the item frames are, we're just going to go in here and we're going to put down our uh, upside down stairs. And actually, we're going to do, whoops, we're actually going to do that on the outside. No, I'm sorry, we're not going to do that on the outside. That's right. And then we're going to come up with it right above it. So for these, we do them on the outside ones. Okay, so we do it right here, right there there right there right there and we're going to come up with it a couple times okay so we're just going to put a block down do it again for now we'll just leave it like that because i cannot remember if we do three or four uh we're going to go by the wood though so let's just do the wood next okay so before i continue on on that side i'm just going to have it like this so it's one two three right now and then see where this piece of wood is right here we can come up Put, a, put wood there and go out this way. We're only doing that for the two one, the two middle ones. Okay? So for just this middle section right here, this middle uh, compartment, on both sides of that, we're going to come up. We'll do the same thing. Go up and in, up and in, and that's going to happen three times. So up and in, up and in. Okay? Now we got it exactly where we want it to be. Now we can go ahead and actually finish this one. So we come up like this. And we'll come in one more time with it. Okay, just so it looks just like that. Okay, so for the stairs, for the um, stone brick, it's four times. One, two, three, four. Get to this point on both sides. Okay, now that you have that done, you can connect these right here, just like this. 
connect these the sprues all the way across okay and for these we're going to take our, our our slabs and we're going to go one two and then put this in the middle the stone brick in the middle so one two stone brick in the middle and the reason we're doing that is that is where we're going to hang our chains from so we can get some extra light going on in here i just think it looks really good you can use you know any anything else you feel the need to okay so we're just going to do the three in the middle we're going to skip this one we're going to go one there two there three and then we're going to hang our lanterns from that one two three right there okay and those lanterns coupled with the uh, shroom lights should be all the light that you're going to need for this uh for this room okay now let's come back up to the top and we're going to take our slabs and we're going to come in here just like this we're going to kind of stair step this going up until it becomes even okay and it should be even for three and then we're just going to go right back down just like so okay and for this one we're going to do the same thing but just on the opposite side of it so we're going to go there 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 one two three it's easier to face the stairs and do it or face the uh, stone brick and do it because if you do it this way you're not going to be able to do it on that one okay we'll do this one more time so face the stairs one two three and then one, two, three, and then another three going down, two, three. Okay, finish off the roof on that side as well. Okay, now that that's done, I think the ceiling looks actually really cool. We're gonna come in here, fi finish this wall up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect, see where, that st where those stairs start? We're just gonna basically hide the spruce, even though you're still gonna see it here, which is what we want, okay? And then you're gonna bring this down like so, okay? Then for the target block, we could just pl uh, place it there, come up here, go one over, there, one over, there. You can even do it higher if you'd like, whatever you want to do. I like them there. All right. And then we're going to come back over here and behind it, and we're going to put wood. Just enough to cover all of the holes that you see, all right? To so cover all of the holes you see just like that okay we come in here and boom you're good you're very very good this is the whole thing so again the way i did it was i went strongest to weakest from left to right on this side so when you walk in to your left i went netherite uh diamond diamond gold although I, I don't remember which one is more but i put gold third and then i went iron stone and uh wood for the wooden sword and then the leather armor okay and uh, then for over here you can get whatever you want so I went to the weapons and I'm looking and I'm like okay we got a shield right we got uh, the flint and steel we got uh, trident we got uh, the TNT what else did I put uh, you could do fire charges all right, so yeah, just just go crazy with it. Have fun in here. Use stuff that you would you know that you'd use as a weapon basically. So I think I went like bow, crossbow, trident, shield, TNT, fire charge, and flint and steel. Okay, and then one last thing to do, we come in here with our item frame and a clock. I just thought the clock was a nice touch, especially if you're building it underground, and you put a clock right there. All right. And that's it, guys. That's the entire build. So that's going to do it for me. Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace.